Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use Universal Bridge in MATLAB Simulink. So for that, you must go to that Simulink browser. Okay, in Simulink browser, just go to Simscape and then go to Electrical and then comes to a specialized power system and then comes to Powertronics Control. So in Powertronics Control, you can see the Universal Bridge. Okay, so just you copy and Put it in that uh, simulink working environment okay so here i'm using 2022 b matlab version okay so here you can see that what's the use of this universal bridge okay so this universal bridge can be act as a converter that mean ac to dc as well as it can be act as a dc to ac that mean it can operate in both directions so you can configure uh, according with that our, our requirement okay just you click this one so here you will see that right and uh, universal in the sense so it can be uh, used for multiple purpose in the powertronics concept okay so for example you are using uh, converter rectifier inverter okay so and then uh, it can be used for three phase system it can be used in the single phase system so for multi purpose concept uh, they are created universal bridge in the matlab simulating in the simpo system okay so how we can configure that uh, block for our requirement okay so i am going to explain here uh, in this video so here you see that right this is a parameter inside that uh, uh, universal bridge so here you see the number of uh, bridge amps okay so three indicate that uh, three phase okay so next you got uh, use that uh, two two bridges bridge amps and single bridge amps okay so you can select uh, according with that for, for again three means it indicate that uh, three phase and two indicate the single phase and one also indicate that uh, uh, that means it can be used at the uh, bidirectional converter okay so we can use that by uh, like a bidirectional converter as well as you can use for the like uh, when you are going to combine that uh, the single bridge with the capacitor concept in the uh, like inverter okay uh, inverter side that mean uh, so you can use for example any application need a single <coughs> once again for example you consider this uh, diagram okay so when you go to uh, select three right three full jam right it will be act as here three phase when you have to select that uh, Two bridge arm that uh, then it will be only select these two alone. When you select that uh, only single bridge arm, right? So then it will be select this alone. Okay. So what happened, right? So according to our need, right? So we can configure that uh, universal bridge. Okay. So that is the thing only it is indicated that. Okay. So for example, single bridge arm uh, can be used and that uh, uh, like uh, uh, in the uh, that means full way retriever, half way retriever concept, right? So, for that concept, you can use that uh, single bridge arm and two bridge arm will be like a full way retriever, and three bridge arm will be sol uh, only for a three phase uh, circuit configuration, okay? So, next you can see, right? Uh, uh, another thing is power electronic device, right? So, here you see that, right? You can select a different kind of power electronic device, like. A diode, thyristor, GTO diodes, MOSFET diode, IGBT diode. And it can be act as an ideal switch. It can be act as a switching function based voltage source converter. So it can be act as an average model based voltage source converter. Okay. So you can select any one option. Okay. So so first you need to select number of bridge amp as per your requirement. One, two, three, four. If it is three phase, so you select three phase. And then you can, for example, you are going to use this uh, universal bridge for that uh, uh, diode rectifier. Okay, so then you can select diode rectifier and then click uh, apply and okay. So then it will be act as a uncontrolled three phase diode rectifier. So if you want to test this system, then you go for a three phase the programmable voltage source and connect this. And then connect the ground. Okay. 
so next you just you connect some load okay rlc load so i'm going to connect uh, just uh, r load allow so here i'm going to consider rms will be 100 and 60 okay and then inductive and capacitive reactance will be zero and power i'm going to consider 1000 watts okay so because here i'm consider 160 uh, that means default value okay just for testing purpose so just i'm going to use that value so here i'm going to measure the current and then here i'm going to measure the voltage so just you connect this one here and this one here and then we connect this and connect this one and also if you want to measure the input source voltage right then you got you can go with the va measurement if is va measurement so connect this one here and connect this here okay and then next you have to use scope to measure the a detail that mean input detail right input voltage and current and then output voltage and current and use for layout for inputs okay this time going to connect input voltage and current and then output voltage and the current that means load load voltage and current so this is v input uh, this is i input and this is i output and then this is v output okay so next i'm going to just i'm going to check the result alone so power gi so we need another thing is power gi not to execute that is simple system full set okay just you use that power gi so i'm going to consider the time will be 0 0.1 seconds so next i'm going to execute this model so here you see that right this is the result of that uh, uh, three phase diode t5 okay so input will be sinusoidal and then current will be like uh, nine non sinusoidal nature because we are using diode t5 then it should be non sinusoidal so this output voltage so output voltage we are getting almost uh, in the range of 125 to 135 and then this is the output current okay now and also you see that right some uh, waveform is not sinusoidal so if you want that uh, uh, sinusoidal and more uh, that mean accurate sinusoidal right then you comes to here and then so here you see that maximum step size right just you got to change to only per minus five and apply and then you can check the result now you see that right we are getting the perfect sinusoidal and then whatever result we are theoretically we are getting from that uh, three phase directive uh, then it will be it will be look like this right so this is uh, a input voltage current this is uh, output voltage and current right so this uh, actual result of the uh, three phase directive okay now you can configure the same universal bridge for the single phase also so for example so just i'm going to change this one i'm going to copy that one okay better just i'm going to copy this and paste it here okay so i'm going to change this for single phase okay so if you want to change for single phase so first you need to change this one for a uh, number of bridge jam will be two okay so i'm consider the same diode t5 and then we need to change the voltage source okay so this should be uh, I, I need to connect to the ground okay so, so this one should be ground okay otherwise you must use ac voltage single phase ac voltage so for example i'm going to use so ac voltage source okay so just you to connect this ac voltage source 
so if you want to measure the input voltage and current okay you just copy and put it here and connect this current measurement here so this is input voltage this is input current so i n so this is v n so i am keep that value of that input will be as it is just i am going to check this one so now you see that right so this is a result of single phase diode tfa okay the same initial bridge can be configured for a single phase also okay so this is a result for a three phase and this is a result of the single phase okay so same way you can uh, you can uh, change the uh, concept that mean you can change this for a uh, inverter operation also so you can provide it uh, input will be dc source and then you can change to convert it into ac uh, waveform also okay so for that we need to change that same model right same model will be in opposite direction so i'm going to take this one so I'll go down go down okay just i'm going going put that model in the bottom so just i'm going to rotate this one okay rotate and then i'm going to change this one so i'm going to up and down okay change that terminal to up and down and then here i'm going to make that uh, system is igbd diode because i'm going to operate this model as a rectifier the source will be dc supply okay dc voltage source and then output will be single phase so here i'm going to consider single phase we can use for a, a three phase also so first i going to explain about single phase and then i uh, you can try for three phase also so just time going to measure the current here and here i'm going to measure the voltage so here we need to provide input that getting pulse for this inverter so for that i'm going to use pwm a generator two level pwm generator so here i am going to use internal generation and also here also you need to change to four bulbs okay single phase build bridge okay because we are using for a single phase inverter concept so next i am going to use scope scope is to measure the input and output quantity so here i am going to take three in uh, three input port and then three layout so one is for measuring the input voltage and then output voltage so this is output current so this is input voltage okay so now i'm going to check the result of the system So now you see the input voltage is DC. The output you are getting the square wave, right? So this output, single phase output, inverter output, right? So you can use this universal bridge uh, like converting AC to DC as well as DC to AC, and then you can uh, configure that universal bridge with the diode, a thyristor, IGBT diode, MOSFET diode. So according with your application. So this is the detail of initial bridge in MATLAB online. So thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe to our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.